Hey everyone, I've got a quick and simple design tutorial for you. On the Radical Design course, I designed this cool little uh, avatar style that people seem to like and requesting me to do some uh, avatars for them on Twitter. And so I figured I would show you how I did it because it's super simple. All right, so I'm gonna take this headshot from the beautiful Matt Stoffer and we're going to quote, jack up his avatar. So the first thing you're gonna do is turn the image, you open up in Photoshop. You can do this in a lot of apps. I like Photoshop, been using it for like 20 years, so this is what I use. I'm gonna turn it off the background layer. We are gonna add a layer behind him, fill it with a dark blue. In this case, we're gonna grab the bucket or hit G to fill in that layer. We're gonna go back to him uh, we will look at the properties and select subject. Photoshop does an amazing job at this most of the time, but it's not always perfect. And the best way to tell if it's perfect or not is hit select and mask. You must be in a selection mode. So like M for marquee or a lasso will show that uh, contextual control there. So we can see there's a little bit of a halo, a little outline around Matt's hair, which is no good. We know Matt loves his hair to be perfect because it, generally is. So we're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna shift the edge in. So the negative value is going to, as you can see, like bring that selection tighter into his hair. So we're gonna bring that real tight. We're gonna increase the contrast. I don't want a fuzzy uh, outline here. We're, this is kind of a harsh, uh, a particular style. We'll smooth it maybe, I don't know, just this is totally personal preference. It can depend on every photo. Slight smoothing, uh, increase the radius a little bit is gonna kind of sharpen some of those corners. Looks pretty good. We can see there's a little bit of white here and a little white there. We have a few options on how to handle that. You could use, um, there is a, uh, where is it in here? Uh, decontaminate colors, but then that, you know, it kind of softens some of the, uh, the layers. So we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna hit okay. We will uh, now hit the uh, mask button and then we're going to come in we'll zoom in a little bit here take our uh, pencil tool and make sure we've got uh, black on and we're just going to clean up those ears a little bit i know matt would appreciate that uh whoops i'm going to move over and zoom in to his other ear go back to b for brush we're going to mask that out and that looks pretty good for what we're doing here. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is to make, uh, if you take a look at these, we're gonna like make some jaggedy edges here at the bottom. So the first thing before we do that, just uh, hold down Alt or Option rather and shrink this a little bit so we have some space. And we're gonna take the lasso tool, which is L. Make sure it's the, uh, the polygonal, polygonal, <laughs> polygonal lasso tool. And then just kind of boom, 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 make some like jaggedy egg edges here, come around. Whoops, let's try that again. Jag, jaggedy edges and come around the outside and make sure we've got the mask selected. And then you're gonna, if the black is your layer, you can hit Alt and delete. If white is your foreground, you're just gonna hit delete. Now we've probably got a little bit, let's zoom in over here. Is there any artifacting? No, it looks like we got it. Great. So we've got the shape. Command, click the mask, create a new layer, drag it underneath him, and then let's grab a yellow, fill it with the paint bucket, and you can just move it around. Boom, boom, you can zoom, like blow it up a little bit, maybe uh, rotate it a little bit, that's Command T uh, to manipulate that. We'll do it again. We don't wanna duplicate this layer because it is a roster layer, it is not a vector layer. So Command, click on the mask again, make a new layer, we'll grab Aqua, do it again, maybe twist it a little bit to the other side, bring it out here. We'll do a third, we're going full rad on this one, new layer. We got the hottest of pinks. Bring that one up, maybe up here, maybe, let's see. Then this is kinda all gonna depend on the layer and kinda the, the image you've got to work with, like what looks good. You don't want these to look all stacked, you want them kinda Messy, a little bit all over the place. So you just play with this for a sec. Bring this down here. Uh, you may want to take, you know, chop one of these layers up a little bit more and just straight delete it. That could look cool. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to throw some accessories on here, maybe just blow up, uh, you know, some brackets, throw them on the side. 
duplicate the bracket by holding down Alt, Dragon. Uh, that didn't work. Let's try that again. There we go. Do a right bracket. T color pick maybe the teal or the yellow. And there you go. Pretty sweet looking avatar. Uh, this. I'll just like let's move the teal. That doesn't look right. Yeah. That looks a little better. Fill that in with the background. There we go. There is a pretty rad looking Matt Stoffer.